I borrowed this cute little clip from Olive and she doesn't even know. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about summer tips for toddlers. As you all know that toddlers are very energetic, they have loads of energy, they want to spend that energy, they want to go around the house, explore. And imagine if it is very humid and hot, how can they do that? And they're going to be very, very fussy and they're going to be irritable and of course we are going to be irritable because of all that fuss and mess. So if you want your baby to be a little less fussier, and for them to enjoy their summers, you can make them feel comfortable. And today I brought you 11 tips. Yes, 11 tips for you to make your toddler feel comfortable during the summer season. In my previous video, I have discussed about summer tips for especially premature babies, those who are under six months. So now I'm going to give tips for babies over six months or especially over one year who fall under the toddler category. And hey, if you're new to this channel, I'm Tina, I'm a health psychologist, I'm a mother of a premature baby. In this channel, we discuss a lot about premature babies and babies in general. We discuss about their milestones, their food, their some recipes, some vlogs over the weekend, which are very, very interesting and fun. We also discuss about feeding bottles, formula milk, and some weight gain tips here and there and many other stuff related to babies. And if you're on the same page, and if you are interested in the same topic, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. So our first tip for today is hydrate your baby. Hydrate your baby is literally giving water to your baby. Any form of liquids is fine. As we have already discussed in our previous videos to avoid fruit juices or any other types of food uh, that include sugar. If you haven't watched that video, please go ahead and watch that a video where you should certain types of foods that you shouldn't give to your baby uh, here what I mean is hydrating with water you can give water very very frequently because it's very hot and humid they're going to dehydrate and that's not at all good for them the second tip is loads of fruit yes I mean fruit there are so many fruit available uh, during the summer seasons like watermelon, muskmelon, grapes, apples, you name it, everything is available. That's it's a fantastic season. Uh, so you can give a lot of fruit for your baby to get that minerals and vitamins and hydration uh, in the form of fruit. The third point is light, comfortable clothing. Yes, I mean, clothing is very, very important. Of course, we want to make our little ones dress up properly and, you know, dress up very cute and nice. Use light weight, uh, light colored, comfortable, loose clothing. Don't make it very tight for the baby because they feel very exhausted and it's already very humid, especially in South India. Oh my God, and look how I'm sweating shooting this video. <laughs> So make sure the clothing is very comfortable for your baby. If you haven't checked out my, my Instagram, my Facebook and my Patreon pages, please go ahead and join me over there. And ladies, there's lots of fun going on in Instagram page because I'm not going, I'm not able to post those videos over here uh, because of some monetization issues. I really request you all to go ahead and join me on Instagram as well. <laughs> The fourth point is about AC and fan. Should you use AC and fan for your baby? I would suggest yes, you can use because now that they are not preterm anymore, they have the capacity to handle uh, different kind of temperatures. So I think it's okay to go with uh, AC, but make sure the temperature is a little higher, like around 28 or 29. <laughs> so some of you may say, why do you even use AC if it is <laughs> 28 or 29? But I personally use it at 28 and 29 because I don't want to really, uh, I'm a very cold person. I feel cold very easily and so does Olive. So I use at 28 or 29 and I still have a blanket on me and Olive. <laughs> So that's up to you uh, and the fan should be at medium speed, not very high. The fifth point is give adequate naps. Yes, sleeping in between uh, the day also helps them to uh, relax, calm down and also remove some exhaustion from their body. Uh, so you can give uh, maybe two naps per day or three naps per day as per your child's comfort. 
the sixth point is a very very obvious point but sometimes you know we still tend to do it that is do not take your babies out especially in between the times of 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. because it's very very hot and it's going to get hotter and hotter each day uh, so try to avoid taking them out and even if you're taking them out please carry essentials such as water bottle snacks umbrella and towel I am specifically mentioning all these things because I have seen mothers uh, it's very hard and they just carry their babies without anything and the baby keeps crying and exhaustion and they just sleep on their mother's lap or shoulder walking on hot sun and that is not at all good for both of you actually so either carry a towel or an umbrella feed water frequently feed food take some snacks with you uh, if possible try to avoid going out during this time and even if you're going essentially for like for example hospital or vaccination or anything please take some precautions that are necessary the next one is quite controversial <laughs> to the previous point that is go for evening walks yes after 6 p.m. you will have a lot of cool pleasant breeze that's very very energizing and energetic uh, that you know re-energizes your soul your body and your mind so evening walks during summers are very very good for both for you and your baby because this is the only season where we can take them out actually in the garden or in the park or ground wherever you want to go uh, I started having this routine where I'm uh, trying to take Olive outside every evening so that she enjoys that pleasant weather uh, but make sure again you carry your water bottle and some snacks and some toys like balls and bats and cars or whatever they want to play in the park you can carry and you can just have fun with your baby because you know once we finish this summer season again we are going to have monsoons that is rainy season and winter season where we are not able to go out at all so make the best out of this season eighth point is look for any rashes or sunburns because this is usually a season where you have some rashes or burns if you find anything please consult your doctor uh, I suggest don't go for home remedies because even I'm not very sure of what to apply and what not to apply which rash it might be uh, so it's better to consult your doctor and ask them if there are any home remedies they will definitely tell you if there are any home remedies uh, for such rashes if they occur in future trust your doctors the ninth one is feed frequently yes I mean feed frequently because they feel exhausted and their energy levels will go down and because it's very hot obviously we are going to feel hungry very frequently so try to feed them every two hours something some snack or some fruit or some uh, cereal or anything anything just feed them frequently because they need that energy uh, you know rebound to them the tenth one is try to avoid diapers during summer because it's going to make them feel irritable and going to have a lot of diaper rash because it's going to be sweaty, humid, hot and very irritable. You can use them at night but I suggest using rubber sheets. Just spread them on and then chill. Last but not the least is limit giving eggs and chicken because it's going to increase heat or any food for that matter which are going to increase heat in the body because such as mangoes or anything. Uh, give them but with limit Maybe. so that's it for this video i hope you all liked it and i hope you all learned something out of it if you do think so please comment what is the most useful tip that you have learned today please comment it down below and give this video a big thumbs up thank you so much for sticking by so long and i love you so much i'll see you all in the next video until then take care of yourself and take care of your little ones Bye bye